Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and I'm gonna walk you through a quick tour of the Ant-Man dashboard. Uh, and as a quick recap, the Ant-Man dashboard is what manages our operating system. So that operating system can be installed on any physical server. It could be one that you purchase from us, one of our silent servers, or it could be another server that you have, or even a dedicated server running in the cloud. But once our operating system is installed there, you're able to manage all that through the Ant-Man dashboard. So how you would kind of add those additional nodes would be here, as you see on the left, but we're not going to really get into the whole multi-node management and that piece here. We're going to keep it really simple and just kind of focus on some of the basic things that you would do with Ansel. So, you know, running through here, looking at the dashboard, you have your, obviously, your IP displays, some of the displays showing how much CPU, RAM, and, you know, disk space you're using along with the license that you have. Uh, getting to the fun stuff, uh, the Antlets tab is where you can see the various virtual servers that you have running. We call them Antlets. And creating one of those is insanely fast. So you can just give it a name, choose one of our predefined templates. You can also, of course, install your own image from an ISO file, but it's in way faster to just use one of the templates that we already have you know, up and running. So I'll use the CentOS give it an amount of RAM, give it some virtual CPUs. It automatically gets assigned the next available IP address, but you can change what that is as well. Um, and you decide which storage pool it should go on and then click Create Antlet. So it's really straightforward and really fast. Once that is created, you now kind of get taken to that Antlet's kind of management area where you can kind of customize different aspects of it. So you have like the general, just how much resources you have assigned to it and you know what its disk size is. Uh, you can manage snapshots. So what's awesome here is that snapshots are really fast and they only t they do not take up any size on the disk initially and then only increase in size incrementally as you make changes to that original image. So you're really allow able to take a ton of snapshots and do a ton of work uh, without it taking up a lot of extra disk, disk space. You're also able to create a template from that snapshot. So what's important here or uh, what's, yeah, what's important with this is if you have a student or a user or someone who you need to kind of give a predefined template to and just allow them to create a virtual server and, you know, maybe every time they create one, you want them to be able to just like spin it up and then tear it down and, and you know, create a new one next time, you're able to do that really simply. Uh, or if you kind of want to have a pristine environment or a golden image that you can use for some of your development or testing, um, that's something you can do as well. Obviously, you can roll back to that snapshot if some test that you've run uh, happens to tank your system. That's what it's there for. So virtual drives, this is pretty straightforward, just adding an additional drive to your virtual server, uh, adding in a network interface card. So that would then allow your antlet to be accessed from the outside to kind of communicate with the, the local area network on the outside. By default, they're all on an internally NATed network. So this allows kind of them to be bridged to the outside. You also then have USBs and kind of going on to our next talk, uh, topic here, business continuity, the backups can either be done to the Ansel cloud or to another local device. And then they can also be spun up from there, obviously, and even done so in an automated fashion, depending on kind of what plan level you're at with the software. And what that means is if your server goes down, it spins up from the other server. So you're able to get that business kind of continuity and that disaster recovery really fast if needed. You can, of course, schedule daily backups and have them being sent up to the cloud or to your other server on a daily basis. Moving right along here, you can see these are where all the, the antlets are. You can kind of go back into that management screen at any time. The templates are where you would download, again, some of our kind of predefined templates that just make it much faster for you to you know, spin up and start running with a machine. Uh, you can set up services such as like Docker, things like that. Uh, with a network area, you can set up port forwarding so that you, know, you can kind of really quickly have you know, a certain IP address assigned and going directly to that antlet. Um, uh, again, under settings, business plan, console, that's, you know, to kind of act access a command line interface. Um, and then with actions here, just some really basic stuff, right? Like restarting the server, shutting down the server. And then along with support and annotate, which gives us remote access if needed. Uh, so on that topic, all of this is running, again, on your own local server or device. None of this is being hosted from our cloud. So it's a completely like self-contained private cloud. 
but at the same time, it gives you the things that you need or that you would expect with your public cloud, such as load balancing, failover, stuff like that. Um, but it's just really simple and easy to use. That's all for now. Hope this was helpful and looking forward to having you on board.